As a kid in San Diego, there was a school called Portola up the hill from us. Um, if you had to drive it, it was about two miles. And they used to fly powered parachutes and powered hang gliders and stuff all over the place. I've never seen one here in Tennessee over the property, but here's two of them. So very cool. I'm not sure where they're headed or what they're doing, um, but awesome. The, the one in the back looks to be a trike. And the one up front looks to just be a harness that you sit in and take off with. Um, pretty neat. I don't know how well you guys can see these or if at all. Um, imagine if GoPro had a zoom. I know, why do I keep using GoPro? Because we forget these cameras outside. Um, the cameras get dropped. They get rained on. They're just durable. If you wanted to take your camera to the next level, GoPro, all you would have to do is add a zoom. Mowed some yesterday. Everything's clippered down. The dog has something over here. It looks like an egg, which is why we usually keep our birds locked up at least until they lay, you know, until like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but that upper paddock up there that I had to replace the poultry netting on because he ripped it off, well, apparently I left the paddock open another time and he got in there and ripped all of that shit off of there. And I've just got to put it back on, which I need to do because the birds are out laying eggs wherever and the dogs are eating them. So keep that in mind. If, if your plan in hard times is to have to be able to use those eggs and everyone counts, you need to keep those chickens confined because they'll lay eggs other places. The two kittens inside. This is the third one that we couldn't get a hold of. When I went to grab him, he was biting the shit out of me and clawed on behind a pallet, and I just couldn't get a hold of him. Now he's so spooked, he's deathly afraid of any time humans come near. He's getting a little better. Hey. Hey. Little kitty kitty. Hey, baby. Super spooky. I know it doesn't look like it, but there are 36 guineas here. It is. Hello. Hello. And guineas, baby guineas, are called Keats. What am I going to do with them? They can't exactly be released into the wild yet, so. I have these troughs that have been sitting here since last year collecting water. I don't know why there's so much less water here than in these two. That's weird. I don't think this one leaks. Now, beginning of COVID, we bought up tons of baby chickens, about 200 of them. Well, 75 meat birds plus 200 others, so, and they lived in here. And we've had chickens in here before 24 30 at a time but we had those things in here and as they start to flop and the dander and all the dust we are still wiping dust off of stuff out of here all the tops of these cabinets probably have a quarter inch of dust because of those birds so never again it's a lot cleaner and more organized and there's a lot more stuff for dust to stick to so for tonight only i'm going to dump the water out of one of these put some wood chips and a heat lamp, a waterer, and I'm gonna put these things in here. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna see about getting Tim and Matt to just frame up some kind of top 
uh, that'll go over with some quarter inch mesh. Um, my concern is not them getting out. My concern is that I'm gonna put them outside here up in the rabbit area and my concern is possibly mice uh, getting to them. I doubt that would be a problem, but just in case, I'm gonna uh, have some little cover and uh, eventually in the next couple weeks, we'll take them and put them in one of these 10 by 10 dog kennels and uh, kind of start hardening them off. With, and they'll be fine unless we get a cold night, but we can run power to them, no problem, and uh, keep a heat light on them at night, not an issue at all. And uh, guineas, the best way to keep them on your property is to raise them from keats on your property. Otherwise, when you let them go, a lot of times they don't want to stay on your property. But now that we are fenced back here, I want to put some other animals back here. We're going to put another set of dogs back here. That'll keep the predators down. And then we can have the guineas, hopefully, never goes how you plan it. But every time we've let them go before, new guineas never pack up with the old guineas. So the hopes is this pack of guineas flock We'll just call them a murder. Murder of guineas. Hopefully they'll live back here in the uh, bigger back area. But we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm going to dump this water out of this trough and put it in here. To give you an idea, these troughs all say same exact trough. This one says 139. This one says 179. You know what the difference between these troughs are? The only difference between these troughs... The only difference between these troughs, maybe these two are a little hair shorter. I don't think so. No, they're, they're all three identical. The difference between these troughs is one year. That's the difference. Pre-COVID, COVID. I would be curious to see what these things cost now. Now, these say tartar. I like all the tartar products. The tartar fences and gates seem to be nicer. Um, the tartar troughs are nicer than the other stuff that's available. And um, one of the owners, uh, brother, sister, family, um, one of the owners uh, has been in the shop several times. He's a client and he's a TAC response alumni. Um, I have a lot of Tartar products on the property. I don't get a discount to say that or anything. Um, super nice dude. And I owned a ton of Tartar stuff before I ever met um, the guy that owns Tartar. Just a, a little side note. So very very solid products so very solid products very happy with tartar two hours later see all that dust that's why i don't do chickens in the garage too many times and I'm like it'll just be here for a couple days and then a month goes by and the garage is trashed with dust it's a combination of the wood chips and the feed it's mostly the wood chips and the birds flapping their wings we bought a uh, I bought an entire trailer load of wood chips last year and these are left from that I've got, I don't know, probably a dozen um, bales still. This is a little wet still. It was full of water. And uh, I don't know how many gallons it is. But it was too heavy to move, so I've been bailing them out with a five-gallon bucket. But I think that's probably good. I think that's... I think that's probably fine for these guys. I'm gonna have to find a waterer and feeder. I guess I should probably do that before um, I let them go in there. I don't think they can fly any yet, and I, de I don't think they can get out of there, but just in case, we'll give them food and water, which should occupy them. Hello, come here. Come up, come up. Hi, hi. He stands taller than I do. What is that, uh, 10 months, maybe 11 now?
Now I know I put feeders and waters out here. I just don't know where they are. I'm sure they're like right in front of me too. They can definitely drown in that one. There are brown recluses everywhere in here. There's one right there. We never had those in California. It was just black widows and I think hobo spiders. But here it's black widows and uh, brown recluses. And black widows are pretty rare. I mean, I've seen them here, but you've got to really look for them to find them here. Now I just need a little feeder. I know I've got, I've probably got a dozen of them. There's just so much stuff here that uh, <clears throat> I'm sure I'm looking right at them chick grit i need uh i need chick starter too which i know we had a bunch of i don't know probably um threw it to the chickens when we were all done kind of like a good riddance get out of the garage have to run first thing in the morning and get some I'm sure you guys are like, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. And my eyes just are not seeing. I've got this, I've got the water, but I don't see a, uh, a feeder, which I guess doesn't matter. We can just use a feed bowl for right now. These seem to have hydraulic stuff all over them. Probably wouldn't matter, but... Okay, so we went to Clarksville. It's about an hour away. We went there to get blood work done for uh, hormones, testosterone. Um, and while we were there, we had a, a lunch at a uh, antique store. It has a little um, cafe in there. We like to get food over there. Um, just a neat little place. And on the way out, we went to get some more seed potatoes at Rural King. They did not have any seed potatoes. I need some more. So tomorrow I will scour around the tractor supplies and find the last remaining bags. John, it's too late to do potatoes. I know, it'll be okay. I can move them into the row house if I need to. But they had guineas and we've been talking about guineas, but they had baby guineas. And I thought this would be a good opportunity because we want a bunch more guineas on the property. I thought this would probably be a good opportunity to raise up a bunch of baby guineas that we can let go on the property and because they grew up here they are more likely to stay here rather than being released here as adults and then um, just not having any attachment or care and just flying away so they had older guineas and they had littler guineas i should say they had older guineas and they had younger guineas what's the difference i think it's just a week because all their chickens were on sale. And I said, are you guys still getting chickens? I assumed that they were on sale because they're getting rid of them all. And he said, yeah, we get them every week. We actually get twice a week, we get shipments, um, meat turkeys, and then heritage breed turkeys. And they get meat chickens, and then egg layer chickens. 
as well as the guineas and ducks and stuff. So twice a week, they still have birds coming in at Rural King. And Tractor Supply might have six tubs about half this size of birds. Rural King had, I'll bet they had 30 tubs half this size of these birds. So I was thinking I wasn't gonna put the light on them. I don't have feed appropriate for them. I don't have any feed. All my feed is pelletized. I don't have any uh, crumble right now, layer crumble or, or otherwise anything. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the light on them because it'll just kind of draw them all into one area. And then if they're too hot, they'll go over to the other area. So, kind of cool. I've never seen white guineas like this. We've got some pearls and we've got some of the others. And guineas, if you don't know, um, are African game birds. They get like this horn on their head and they alert like crazy. Um, they fly around in packs. And anytime you see a pack of guineas and they're out in the field eating, they'll always have a guard, if not two guards. And if, if available, the guard will be on the higher ground and they'll just be looking. And then when he starts eating, another bird will pop its head up and look around. And if they see something coming, they let out this horrible cackling and then the whole flock starts cackling and they'll do it if a squirrel comes they'll do it if a bird comes they'll do it if there's a snake uh, anything that they perceive to be danger they will let out that alert and my dogs know that alert and they come running so when a hawk or a buzzard comes overhead when the guinea see that pattern that shadow on the ground they alert like crazy and the dogs come running and we don't have any predation anymore we have no the dogs are up front and that's where the guineas are typically. The guineas go everywhere, but typically they're up front with the dogs. And when they alert, the dogs come running and the dogs have actually gotten a hold of birds trying to get um, those animals. So in the back, we had 36, maybe upwards of 50 birds a couple years ago in the back, same exact setup, except we didn't have dogs. And within about a six month period, all of those birds were gone, dead, feathers everywhere, um, one at a time. And it was it's hawks, um, maybe falcons, um, foxes, raccoons, stuff like that. Everybody says that possums eat chickens. Um, I don't think they do. I think other things kill chickens and the possums come along and as opportunistic will eat on the chicken. But I don't think possums really, maybe they do. But I've come in and had possums sleeping in nest boxes in chicken coops, and we've never had them harm chickens ever. They'll eat eggs. But uh, that's it. Blam! And chicken nuggets. Chicken nugget. Not really. I know it's so frightening. You guys are going to love this place though. Man, this is this is way fancier than what I pictured. Uh -oh. Man, you just you just killed one. You, well, he's one, on fire right now. This one's having problems anyway, so we can try to warm him back up. That's the one. Hello. What accent do you think they talk in? bird mm, I'd go with something African some African dialect I think Swahili. Guinea right Guinea's yeah, there you go. Papua New Guinea that's kind of by Africa will they know It used to be a mystery. Do you know how to open these bags? So that you can open them every single time? Well, I just took my knife to it. Cause you're like, you're like almost 18. I'm almost 50. And I just figured out how to open these motherfuckers like six months ago. Pull the string. Always from the right side. Always from the right side. And then it works. Maybe it works from the left side, but it always works from the right side. That or maybe maybe in like the last six months, whoever's sealing all these bags just figured out how to do it the right way. Hmm, 
I need a little cup. Yeah, I bet. That's a lot of fucking ticks. Yeah. Yeah. They eat all kinds of other shit, too. Yeah. They're, uh, guineas are pretty neat. Like, if you watch them, watch those ones out there. There's always one watching you. Mm -hmm. Like, when you walk out there, they'll kind of, like, they'll ignore you. But there's always one sentry, if not two. And when that guy puts his head down, another one pokes his head back up. They, uh, they're pretty cool. Bats, that's another thing. Build some, get some bat boxes out there. Bats eat their body weight in, you know, mosquitoes and flying insects every night. Yeah, Haley was watching videos last night and chasing people. Yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think if you just stop them right now, it's not like they're going to do anything to actually attack your... Uh, it's a trip. When they run, man, they run, I'll bet they run 35, 40 miles. I mean, they run yeah. way faster than the dogs can run, especially... When a rooster's chasing another rooster, like when they're in their territory, it's a tr I have some video, I'll have to find it up there, of them just running laps. And one jumps the fence and the other one jumps the fence and just keeps putting an ass whipping on them. <laughs> just ran into the wall. I don't think you can appreciate how fast that thing is moving. It's chasing them up in the trees. <laughs> Are those all hens up there that you have now? I don't know. The, I assume it's two males because they were pissed off. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know how to tell. Okay. And come eat. Why are you not eating? And cummy. Oh yeah, maybe. They can't be but a couple days old right now. We're gonna find out that these right here, we're gonna find out that these are house sparrows. Sparrows? House sparrows. Geese will uh, mess you up too. Yeah. Yeah, my parents split up when I was a kid, and my fucking dad knew my mom hated geese, so he got, he worked on a farm, he got both me and my sister a fucking goose <laughs> just to piss my mom off. And I think they knew that she was scared of because they never fucked with me or my sister, but they would fuck my mom up, you know, fucking run at her, flog her, fucking yeah. pinch her leg. Like a shit. dog, they can just tell. Yeah. They say uh, geese will guard the flock of chickens, mm -hmm. you know, from small animals. Yeah. And, you know, hawks, it'll, you know, kind of, you know, shoo them away. But uh, if you have two geese, then they're interested in being geese, doing goose stuff. But if you just got one, it'll work as a guard goose, kind of. Joel Salatin talks about that quite a bit. The, the giraffe eye. I think it's just giraffes. Breakfast time? Yes. I think if we just, there's been a casualty. I think if we just put them in hot oil, yeah. it'll singe the feathers off. I think hot oil, cornmeal, back to hot oil, and then you just chicken nugget them. I'm sure there are multiple countries where they do way less than that to eat, eat whole little baby birds. Oh no, the beak's the best part, right? You gotta have crunch, it's gotta, it has to be fiber. There's a lot of places where they eat the feet. That's like, even here, you can go to restaurants and get feet. Hello, monkey. Man, I really want monkeys, and then I watch videos of people that have monkeys. <laughs>